Alright, what is up guys, I'm here doing a little bit of a commentary today on this workout. So it's a legs workout, uh, primarily focusing on squats. So you'll be able to see that throughout the video. So warming up, we just did uh, three sets of skipping for three minutes. So it's just kind of like the standard boxing round. It's straight into squats. So I, I did four, four sets of warm up sort of squats. So as you see here, starting off with the bar. I always like to start off with the bar, just kind of like I haven't squatted in quite a long time, so getting used to kind of like the positioning again, and the, the movement as a whole, breaking out the hips and things like that. So always like to start from the bar, as you'll see for like the last rep as well. What I always like to do is just go down and just kind of like hold the bottom position for a few seconds. I find it helps open everything up. Um, I didn't actually stretch before this session, so usually I do some stretches, but I didn't have a whole lot of time, so I thought I'd just crack on straight in there with the bar alone. And uh, as you see there, just in the last rep, always just do like a little sit, just helps open things up a little bit. Next set onto 40 kilos here now. So just doing one set of these again, just to just building up now to my working set. So I think the the most I've done for working set previously is like 70 kilos. So we're not too far off at the moment. We we've done all right, kind of like maintaining here and there. Obviously, we haven't been training like 100% properly over COVID and all of those things. So just starting to get back into it now. My first boxing class is actually next week. So. Next Tuesday will be the first class back for me, so it's quite late compared to a lot of people. So here I'm just kind of make sure I've got like the strength going into it and like the muscle elasticity, because I know like as far as conditioning goes, I can get that back fairly quick. So strength is the one that's always harder to build for me, because like the activity levels and things like that, it's hard to really solidify good strength gains. Next up, straight into like 50 kilos now, so another set of 10, I believe this was. Again, just build up to my working set, so. Here I really wanted to see how many I could get, so 10 was a bit of a push, um, but with my working sets I'm doing 5 reps, so only if I could get 10 here it would be right to push a little bit more on my working set as there's not as many reps, so it does help me out a little bit. Again, really trying to focus on my form, breaking out the hips uh, straight at the start, so I don't go down in like a bad position. I do find sometimes my knees will flare out a bit on the way up or something like that, which you might see in the video, but something that I'm working on there as well. Into the final warm-up set here, which is 60 kilos, so I do this for one set of five reps, built straight into it. And then we go into the working sets, which we just did 65 kilos, which is an alright amount for me, like, I hit my one rep max like at least like two years ago, which is like 120, so... I'm a long way off where I was then, but I was a lot heavier then as well. I was probably around, weighed around 70 kilos as it is. Right here, I probably weigh around like 64, 63, and haven't worked out in a while, so didn't expect to be too strong on the squats. Just kind of get back into it. I found like a big part of like strength training as well is just being used to the exercise. So obviously, I haven't squatted in not consistently in a long time. Like I, I squatted last week, just a couple sort of reps, just building up to see what sort of weight I can play around with. Also guys, let me know which angle you think works best for squats. I did a few different ones, I mean, I'll probably keep doing that for a while, different angles, so... Do you see different positions and things like that, I think it helps out. But yeah, so this is like my first leg session properly, going through a lot of the movements. I really want to get my strength in a good position when I go back to boxing, so... I want to feel strong when I'm doing my classes and things like that, whereas conditioning, like, running-wise, I feel like two weeks is enough to be at a good standard for your classes with running, so I'm really not too worried about that, and when I'm in the class doing actual boxing um, exercises, like, it always comes back fairly quick, I find, so, whereas strength takes a lot longer to build for me personally, so, I always like to focus on my strength training in my own time when I get a chance, rather than, like, overdoing it on the boxing obviously like you need to do your bag works and your shadow box and things like that but for me i definitely feel like strength training has a really good positive impact for my training so it's something in my time i like to focus on obviously i still spend my like say two hours every other day or so at the gym and i get my sparring in things like that but while i'm at home so strength is definitely something i feel necessary to focus on so here we are, just moving into front squats now. We only did one uh, kind of working sort of uh, rep range, I suppose, of these. So we just went straight with 40 kilos, and we just did five by five. I haven't front squatted in a while, so again, getting used to the body position, making sure I'm like firing my glutes properly. Uh, the elbow position on front squats I find really uh, quite tricky, to be honest. 
trying to get your elbows up in the position so that the bar uh, sits on your shoulders nicely. I always find that a bit of a struggle, so just going in with 40 kilos, I thought if I can get, say, 25 reps in total, it means that the next session I'll kind of like warm up to a higher working set because I felt really good on these, to be honest. I definitely feel like I could have gone for maybe like 60 kilos um, or 50 kilos. I was struggling towards the end, my legs were getting a bit sore, but definitely next time I really want to push for maybe like 55 kilos or can I do that? Yeah, I'm just trying to work out what weights I have because obviously, obviously guys also I know like not everyone's going to have these sort of weights at home or this equipment. I'm very lucky to have brought it um, a couple years ago when everything was kind of like fairly priced and in stock. <laughs> uh, Covid has definitely sent the price rocketing up for a lot of fitness equipment. So here's the front squats, uh, again just make sure I get my good depth, I always find front squats easier to get more depth on so I definitely feel like the quads get more of a burn on these, uh, the veins will definitely bulge in a bit after this session which is always good, we like to see that. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to be doing more of these guys, so I'll probably do a deadlift focused one as well for legs. So usually when I split up my training, I'll do like two kind of legs focused, depending on like hamstrings or quads, so just sort of like front and back. Uh, moving on to deadlift here, this is just a warm up set. I think we went with like 40 kilos here. Um, just 10 reps. I didn't want to focus too much on hamstrings in this session because I've done a lot of squats uh, for me. So usually during the week I'll do a this sort of like a, is like my squat session and then I'll do like a almost like a deadlift sort of session as well where instead of doing like the front squats I'll do back squats into deadlifts into like single legged Romanian deadlifts. So these are like my variation of Romanian deadlifts as well. So I'm trying to keep my legs as straight as I possibly can, sticking my ass back as far as I can. I'm really trying to get that burn in the hamstring and glutes. Uh, on like a normal legs day, I'll probably go for like standard deadlifts and try to add a bit more weight. Um, you can also see I'm not dropping the weights all the way down either. That's because I don't actually have 20 kilo plates, I only have 10s. So like the circumference is a little bit shorter. So like, whereas if I had 20s on, I might be touching the ground, it's hard to kind of tell. But it also helps you control the weight down as well, which I think is quite helpful. It's always something like, you want to control like the, I guess like the contraction and de detraction. I don't know if that's the correct word or not, but when you're controlling the weight on the way down it's actually like really good for your muscles too i'm also going to do these videos guys for push and pull days as well so expect those on the way i think there's only one more set of these um, i'll definitely try and find more to talk about in the next video guys i have struggled in this one as you can probably tell um how many sets of these i think we did three so i think there's one more after this one i believe also guys, I know a lot of people have been asking about when there's going to be coming up the new What's My Gym Bag video. I'm literally going to be recording it this week, so expect that hopefully either by the end of the week or by the start of next week. It's going to be a really good video, I'm going to put a lot of time and editing into it, so make sure you keep an eye out for that one guys. It's really going to be one that you don't want to miss, a lot of cool stuff in there, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, I'm actually looking forward to myself to be honest with you, so there you go. Yeah, so that was the final set there. On to just some lunges. So I've got a 10 kilo dumbbell and an 8 kilo kettlebell. I really enjoy lunges to be honest with you. I feel like they work really well as an exercise and they're easy to do as well. So the reason I've got a kettlebell is because I keep one of the dumbbells in my room to do some exercises with in the morning. So I switch it up when I do my lunges. Um, if you want to see more videos like this again, again guys, just like let me know. Um, following this, it's just some calf presses. So yep, yeah, I'll see if I can sort some more of these vid videos out for you guys, and I'll probably try and get a bit better at my commentary because it's been a bit patchy. I won't lie. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, guys, remember to like and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm out.